Today is the day of the Ponti Pandi Regatta, the biggest sailing boat race of the year. Now, we all need to be on our toes just in case there are any emergencies. Tom? Yes, Sam? You'll be my eye in the sky. Roger that. Ben, I need you to keep watch from the Ocean Rescue Lookout Tower. Aye, aye, sir. And Penny, you'll be tracking the whole race from the radar screen. Will do, Sam. And lastly, Station Officer Steele will be keeping an eye on events right down the coast at the lighthouse. Ocean Rescue Centre to lighthouse. Lookout, do you read me? Loud and clear, Fireman Sam. We're all ready for the regatta. Excellent, sir. Ah, this is the life, eh? <laughs> Certainly is, Norris. Right, team. I need to go and start the race. Everyone, to your stations. Aye, aye, aye Sam. Sam. Look out, tower up and ready. And we got a good view out there today. Wallaby one is in the air. Radar image is online. And my orange juice is jolly tasty. Right then, we're all ready and prepared for the Ponty Pandy Regatta. All ready to go down to your top. And all ready to go up here. Look, Lily, there's a blue boat, and a yellow boat, and a green boat. Fishy nibble, Mrs Chen? Oh, don't mind if I do, Bronwyn. Green boat! Our turtle torpedo will flush your ponty pandy porpoise any day. I don't think so. With me as captain, the ponty pandy porpoise will roll the waves! I don't think you're the captain, Norman. I'm the captain and you're the first mate. Would all sailors prepare to set sail? Fireman's arms ready to start the race. Box, set, go! Uh, hooray! No, I'm definitely the captain and you're the first mate. Well, you're the captain in last place then, Norman, because everyone else has just sailed off. What? Where's my boat? How did it get out there? Lily! Don't worry, Mrs Chen. I'll bring Lily back to you. Hello, Lily. Bye. Don't worry. I'll have you back in no time. There you go, Mrs. Chen. And there you go, boys. Now, you better set sail before everyone else has finished. Thank you, Sam. I'm so sorry. Don't worry, Mrs. Chen. Come on, first mate Derek. We've got a regatta to win. That's Captain Derek to you. Somehow, I don't think that'll be my last rescue today. seem to be moving, Sam. The wind seems to have dropped a bit, Penny. I'm sure they'll be moving again soon. Do you want me to row, Trevor? I'm quite a dab hand with a pair of oars, you know. <laughs> I could give the love boat a little boost. Uh, n n no. I, I think we're fine, Dillis. OK, Trevor. Sticky bird. Moving. Don't you worry about the lack of wind, my little muffin. I'm fully prepared. Please don't bring out an invention. Please don't bring out an invention. Please don't bring out an invention. <sighs> he brought out an invention. Behold, the Windmaster 2000. With this little beauty, we can make our own wind. But Dad, that's cheating. The rules said no outboard motors. 
There's nothing in that rule book about bringing your own wind. I have a really bad feeling about this. Wait till you see everyone's faces when I activate this. Whoa! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I think we should change the name of the boat to the Embarrassing Dad. Need a bit of help, Joe? Oh, thanks, Sam. Oh, Trevor, you've got the wind in your rigging. Thanks, Fireman Sam. You'd best get sailing, you two. You're getting left behind. You'll think that the Sail Puff 800 won't cure. No, Dad. Spoil sport. I say, it's neck and neck down there for the lead. I'm sure Sarah and Mandy will win that one. Sarah's quite the mariner, you know. It's in her blood. Ah, but it's hard to beat the cast-iron discipline of a well-trained firefighter. Even if it is Cridlington. We're in the lead, Mandy! Keep tucking to starboard! Aye, aye, Sarah! Quick, Elvis! They're getting ahead! We need to steer to the port side. Which one's the port side? It's the one on the opposite side to the starboard side. Just tell me, left or right? Left. Uh, my left or your left? Mine. And watch out for the boom. What's the boom? Boom! Oh! I said watch out for the boom. What's the boom? Boom! Oh! Will you please tell me what the boom is before that thing hits me again? That's the boom. Oh! Oh, I don't think I like the boom. <laughs> See you at the finish line, Dad! See? Natural sailor. Well, at least it wasn't Cridlington that went overboard. Whoa! Oh. Uh. Oh. Maybe it would be better if you two stayed in the boat. We'll try, try some. some. How's the race looking from your end, Ben? Over. Looking good, Sam. They're all heading for the home straight, over. Thanks, Ben. I'll head to the finish line, ready to greet the winner. Hooray! My sister is winning! Come on, Sarah! Oh, look! Dillis and Trevor are catching up. Don't let them pass, Fanti. Don't worry, I won't. Ooh, ooh. Stand on. Don't you bump by Trevor. Come back! You've missed the finish line. Take that! No, you take that! No, in the fit. Oh. We're so far behind. Don't you worry, my little honey pie. I've got just the thing. No, Dad, no more inventions. Desperate situations call for desperate measures. But, Dad... <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm not going anywhere near that boom. I'm going to stay back here where it's safe. <laughs> Two more non-finishers. Norman, you can be captain. You're only saying that because we're so far behind. I'd never be the captain of a boat that came last. But neither would I. And the Ponty Pandy Porpoise is the winner. <laughs> huh? That's us. <laughs> I declare the winners of the Ponty Pandy Regatta. Norman and Derek in the Ponty Pandy Porpoise. Uh, that's Captain Norman, Captain Derek, Captain Norman, Captain Derek, Captain Norman. When he hears 
Cause that's 